Yo, what's up everybody? This is Unpunk coming at you with a brand new video here today going through all of the known Easter egg steps and leads we have for the Firebase Z Easter egg quest, which will be unlocking at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, Friday, February 5th. Yeah, that. So, after you do the power and talk to Reznov and spawn to get pack a bunch, come back to mission control, and your next step is gonna be here where Dr. Pack is gonna give us more instructions. Most likely leading us on a wild goose chase of stupid things to help him further his plan. As you can see in this picture from my buddy Kawachi, show him some love if you don't mind. In Mission Control, you can see Dr. Peck is glitched behind this in a T pose. You can't do anything with that yet until the Easter eggs are unlocked. In the Colonel, Colonel's office, there is a cool little thing called a safe that looks like it could be accessible, as well as one of three different little key card readers that are very well textured and look like they are interactable. There's a second one located here in the equipment storage by Spawn in the Village. As you can see, same model and everything looks looks very suspicious. And then there's a third one here in Mission Control right next to Peck's office. So I'm assuming there's going to be items we're going to get out of here. Probably get a key card from Peck at some point to do his bidding. In storage equipment, it looks like there are some little vials that might be used for the serums, possibly, as they have four different colors. Looks like red, green, blue, and yellow, if I can see that correctly. I'm a little colorblind. This also might tie into the field hospital here with the serum spinner thingy and what might be another part of the Easter egg. Some items we might get to collect and add in there. So that looks very suspicious and Easter egg-like as well. So that's a good lead to start on when we're hunting. Next up, we have the Scorch Defense Paper. It is a lab weapon trial, which is gonna be a piece of paper you can pick up here every single game, but you only get intel from it once. So it is gonna be used somehow during the main Easter egg quest. Next up, we have the OPC, which is most likely where Samantha Maxis is being held, as, where, as well as where the Dark Ether Orb is most likely going to be, or a portal to the Dark Ether will be. It might be a little different than it was in D Machine. I assume because it is going to be a more stabilized portal in this map, and there is artifacts and things we have to collect which you'll see on screen now there's artifacts that you can get from doing different steps of the easter egg here for omega and there is one that is required to be in the dark ether which means that that one is going to be something that you're going to have to actually insert yourself into the dark ether to obtain so when we go down here into the dark ether you're going to see the artifacts there's only one but it is on firebase c i hope this helped you guys out i'm ready to easter egg hunt with you all tomorrow and we'll see you soon Peace.